Hello and welcome to Dynamic Chart Title with Slicers. My name's Jeff. I'm glad you're here. Let's just jump right in. We have created a pivot table and a pivot chart from the data. All right, and we'd like to allow the user to pick regions, a region or regions. And, and depending on their selections, we want these, you know, these reports, this table, pivot table, and pivot chart to update. So what we do is we select, you know, any cell within the pivot table and head to pivot table tools, analyze and select insert slicer. And we pick the region column and click OK. Um, and now as a user makes selections here, um, the report and graph update accordingly. So that's great. Uh, what we want to be able to do though is put this slicer somewhere else and have, have the slicer selections create a dynamic chart title and a dynamic you know, pivot table title. So I'm just going to go ahead and move this over. So I'm going to use uh, Control X to cut and I'm going to head to settings and I'm going to hit Control V to paste. And I'm just going to position this up here and right here. All right. So let's just make sure even though I moved it to another page, it works here. I have report at 9401. Let's clear the filters and yes, this updates. All right. Now to create the dynamic headers, what we're going to do is store a title and subtitle in some cells. And we're going to have those cell values feed into the pivot table and pivot chart. All right, for the main title, that's easy. This is just going to be called sales by item. And we can just type that in. The subtitle, though, needs to include the regions that are selected. In other words, if, uh, if just two regions are selected, we want the subtitle to include those two regions. And that way, we'll pull those into uh, the reports. Um, and if there's only one, we want one. So how are we going to do this? We're going to create a helper pivot table. So I'm going to head back to data. It's the same data source uh, that, that uh, feeds the, the main pivot table and pivot chart. And I'm going to select insert pivot table. And I want to place it on an existing worksheet. And I head to settings. I'm going to put it right here. And I click OK. All right. And now what we're going to do is we're simply going to insert the field uh, the same field that's used in the slicer, and that's region. So I could put it into rows, um, and, and, and you could certainly adapt this solution to use rows, um, but I'm going to demonstrate it using columns. That way they're just lined up like this. So I'm going to go ahead and close this stuff down. Um, and what I want to do at this point is remove this grand total. And so the way I'm going to do that is to head to Pivot Table Tools, Design, Grand Totals, Off. All right, excellent. Now for the subtotal or subtitle, um, I'm going to use the text join function um, to grab all of the values in row 24. Um, but I first needed to, to specify the delimiter. What's a delimiter? The delimiter is the character that we're going to use to separate these values. Um, in this case, I'm just going to enclose it in quotes and I'm going to do a comma with a space and close the quote. And then comma, do we want to ignore empty values? We do because our selection is going to include a whole bunch of empty values. And then comma, and then I'm just going to pick all of row 24. All right, and then I'm going to close this down and hit enter. Okay, now our formula retrieves the values from this row of labels in the pivot table report. Um, but currently, this slicer only updates our original pivot table and pivot chart. In other words, if I select east, nothing happens down to this pivot table here. So what we need to do is tell this slicer to update our helper pivot table. The way that we do that is select the, uh, the slicer, go to slicer tools, options, report connections, select this and click OK. And now as we can see, the report labels update. And if I select multiple items, those update. And if I clear the slicers, those update. And we can pick like this. All right, I think we got it. Okay, so to recap, this slicer updates this helper pivot table. This text join function combines the values here. Now, depending on the version of Excel you're using, you may not have the text join function. Uh, and if not, we're going to have to little get, get a little uh, creative. Uh, and so we're going to have to use a concatenation to do that. So we, could con <laughs> we can concatenate the values that are in B24 with a, a space, and then we're going to have a value in C24 potentially, and then a space. 
We might also have a value in D24 and a space. We might also have a value here just because I have four regions. And, and hit enter. And that's going to combine them with a space, but there's going to be some extra spaces, uh, you know, if there's only, you know, one thing selected. So to remove those extra spaces, I'm going to use the trim function. Oopsie. I'm going to use the trim function, and that's going to remove excess spaces. And, and so that, that looks good. But what if we have multiple items selected? We want to have a comma in here. So what we'll do is we'll just use the substitute function. And we want to, um, to take out a space and replace it with a comma space. All right, enter. And now we got it. So this, this you know, substitute trim concatenate um, alternative um, is going to work if, if you're using a version of Excel that doesn't have the text join function. Otherwise, we'll just keep it simple and use text join. So I'm going to go ahead and now pull these values into the reports. With a pivot table, it's easy. We just hit equals, head over here, click the cell, and hit enter. And for this, we're going to hit equals and this and enter. And now as regions are selected, these dynamic titles are going to update. Let's just double check if we did, you know, north and south, come over here, and we got it. Okay. And let's go with east and west, and we look good. Now let's grab them into the, into the uh, chart. So I'm going to grab and add a chart title. I select the chart title. I head to the formula bar. I type an equal sign, and I just browse over to here and hit enter. And now we got that. And now for our subtitle. All right, so what we're going to do is just insert a text box. Insert text text box, and we just position it how, how we want. Head to the formula bar, hit enter, browse to this cell here, and hit enter. And now we've got it. And now we can just do some formatting and cleanup here. So, uh, for example, maybe I want to, you know, center this. All right, and maybe let's put this from here to here. That looks good. And maybe we want to change the font color. So you, you get the idea. But you can kind of get the style in however you want. Maybe we want to squish this little plot area down. There we go. Okay. And so this is pulling in the title and subtitle. So maybe we want to change this to, um, you know, item sales. And we want to show the north region. And so, so we're done. Okay. Good. Hey, so that is one technique or one um, approach for having dynamic report headers, pivot table, and pivot chart headers based on the slicer selections. Hope it helps. Thanks for joining me. Have a great day. This video is a production of Excel University.